A little cemetery in Devonport. I thought I'd come and check it out. It's actually behind a caravan park. I know it's a pioneer cemetery. This is all that's basically left of it. I know virtually nothing about it apart from it being here. So I went looking for it. It's a Mercy Bluff Cemetery Memorial. And that's a huge list of people between 1878 and 1952. There's a little bit of history about it. Mercy Bluff Cemetery is the resting place for many Devonport pioneers and families from many walks of life. They include carpenters, shipwrights, merchants, policemen, shopkeepers, publicans, bridge builders and ministers as well as wives and children. Original cemetery is said to be located further west of this site between Back Beach and Coles Beach. The, separate, the cemetery and its surviving fabric is an integral part of the history and heritage of Devonport. Though not the original site of the Mercy Bluff Cemetery, this location is home to the remaining headstones of those buried at the original cemetery and thus serves as an important connection to the past. Mercy Bluff Cemetery is one of the oldest surviving burial grounds in Devonport, a place specifically reserved for the burial of the dead from 1878 until the last burial occurring in 1952. And for more information go to the Devonport City Council. Huge list of names, as I said before. And very few headstones. And that's a Karen Park back there. It's all fenced off, so I don't know if kids get in here and play around, but who knows? Louisa, wife of P.W. Thomas. At least they got some headstones and remember the cemetery, but that's about it. Some aren't in good condition. Others are covered up, so the graves are somewhere else. Well, that's kind of what happens when you end up with pioneer cemeteries. Is just down there to the beach and just up further there's a lighthouse that's not far from the ocean 